I think the Lord now touched this brother's heart. The brother now finally opened up and said, You're just like a sister to me. <laughs> you guys, I wanted to. Eh? <laughs> how are you, my father, for God's sake? Please, how are you, my how are you, my papa? Please, can we please, Christian brothers, can we just stop all this rubbish? It may be very hard. In fact, it's not me. It will actually be hard to step back, especially when you've started nursing and nurturing your feelings for this person in your heart. But it will be even much harder and hurt even more if you remain there, invest into this person, and now have to come out just because that person doesn't value you or the relationship doesn't work out. God forbid that I will endure my marriage. Oh, blood of Jesus. The container is not as important as the content. So you don't need to kill yourself if somebody say no. Then I like him, he does not like me. We move. It's not about you, it's about me. It can't be about me. It has to be about you because I carry virtue. In your eyes, your head is full of Hi guys. <laughs> Long time no video on my bed, literally. Because of the nature of this topic, I decided that I was just going to be comfortable because i want to talk to you guys and if you've noticed it is a topic or a subject matter that i've really shied away from on my channel here but for some reasons i just feel led to talk about it again because i told myself that i wouldn't talk about relationship stuff until a certain season of my life but yeah i really just want to speak to that young girl or that young guy who's pretty much confused about this subject matter i'm sure you can already tell by the title oh i forgot to say welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and of course i'm holding my microphone today because I, like i said i just want to talk and i want you to have that feeling as well like i'm talking to you Funny enough, the video I recorded prior to now was a completely different video. It was a reaction to my first video on YouTube because I have um, created content here on YouTube for the past three years. Cheers to that. And so I wanted to do like a celebration video, but for some reasons that video didn't come out well and I just felt like, okay, maybe it's not the right time to make that video. Why not talk about something else? And here we are, right? Another thing that inspired me making this video is the fact that I have been praying for my marital life for the past two months now it was like a six weeks coaching with um mrs dorino mosele she has a team she organized a kind of mentorship called um getting it right and that woman has been such a blessing to me personally thank you so much ma if she ever gets to watch this anyway <laughs> but yes we've been praying for our husbands and um, by the way, if you hear any background noise, please forgive that. They're doing some construction work in the next compound as well as upstairs in my house. Anyway, I digress again. The mentorship is over, but I think she decided to extend the prayers. So we pray every single day. And I've done my best to be consistent, except on days I really could not help it. Maybe I was in transit or work or something. But for the most part, we have been praying for that man, guys. So I'm just like, okay, let me come on here to speak to young people like me who are pretty much in this same season of their lives not knowing what to do yes we're not yet in a relationship but then you don't prepare for the relationship when you're in it right you prepare for it before you enter into it so anyway i just want to be sharing a few things i have learned so far from relationships that were not necessarily god's will for me because i believe that any relationship that did not work out wasn't god's will for me or he had something better definitely I highlighted five things that i took away from everything if this is something you're interested in finding out definitely keep on watching and let's have an amazing conversation let me know which one stands out for you in the comment section let's keep this conversation going as well as what you learned from your own failed relationship or let me say situationship or whatever it turned out to be eventually okay without further ado let's jump right into this discussion i don't know if you guys can remember the video i made with auntie grace or let me just say grace the video on her approaching her fiance guy like it was wait like nobody told me i just said gracie you have to wait i wanted to have it my way so i i went ahead and i went to tell him i liked him and he should pray about it it was really funny and then he came back and he told me mm -mm. Nah, he doesn't want to date anybody in school. I felt bad. He doesn't look like just taking me as his sister. Hey. My heart beats. My heart chest pain. Hey. So, 
good news is auntie grace has given birth now those who that watched that video will feel the excitement in my heart if you didn't watch that video you can't relate the auntie grace told her husband that she liked him back then when they were in school together she approached him but he kind of rejected her said he wasn't interested in dating anybody even though eventually dated somebody and as at the time she approached her husband god had told her to wait god did not say he's not the one just told her to wait but she went ahead and told him <laughs> But later on during her nyc apparently they served in the same place and then you know he proposed you know love started and all of that so I'm, I, apparently if she had just waited he would see have come around right because god's timing is the best and god keeps his word and now they are married she has given birth and she has been giving us back to back birth vlogs i'll be linking her channel in the description below so please check out her channel and definitely go and support her i'll also be linking the video that we made together you know in this video i just thought to give that context because a similar thing happened to me in 100 level and i don't think i've really shared that here i liked somebody in my 100 level and i don't know for the first time in my life i was just so drawn by my emotion and this is me being vulnerable because i know that not many people will come on to say things like this everybody wants to act spiritual act like oh they don't make mistakes i was really consumed by my attraction towards this person and that was my first time liking somebody so i had not really learned or let me say i had not really been taught by god how to subdue my emotions and be led by the spirit of course i was still a growing christian i still am but i think i was still very much young in the faith and so i went to meet this guy told him that i liked him if i took a lot thankfully this person was and is still a good person till tomorrow i can still say that this person is a good guy because me i know they like rubbish the way he handled it till tomorrow i will still be amazed things do not work out because of obviously it wasn't god's will like what <laughs> i must have been a clown wow anyway <laughs> oh my god mm, okay I'll try not to laugh, but then I'll still share the lessons. I'm going somewhere. So this person was in their final year. So when we went home, non-final year students, they stayed back to complete their project. I just noticed that during that project defense time, this person was in school. This person started ghosting me, stopped speaking my calls, nothing, nothing. I started asking questions. What is it? Before you know it, I think the Lord now touched this brother's heart. The brother now finally opened up and said, you're just like a sister to me. <laughs> you guys i wanted to eh? <laughs> i was not only sister zoned i was daughter zoned you know when they say you like someone and person seeing you as their daughter like how are you uh, oh how are you my father for god's sake please how are you my how are you my papa please can we uh, please christian brothers can we just stop all this rubbish which one is mommy dad please anyway that's not the focus of this video but i just say i should chip that one in and so it was a really painful experience for me but i went back to god i cried my eyes out talked to god about it and god said i saved the best for the last i know the beautiful thing about that experience that was the period that my spiritual life skyrocketed i literally channeled that pain to connect better with god and i just want to say this for any to anybody if you are currently going through a heartbreak or probably entered a relationship that you obviously knew god was not approving but you wanted to go and see for yourself and then you saw for yourself and then you ended up regretting god just wants you to know that there's no better time to build your relationship with him than even that period i'm not saying you should now use god as a bait or as a cover up or you now go to god and before me spiritual sister just because you are going through a heartbreak and then when you are done when you when he has healed you you now run away from him no but i'm saying that why not just channel that pain to connect better with god on a different level because that's what i did and trust me my healing came so quickly mind you i still stand by the fact that this person is a good person because he not only was honest with me eventually he still came back to apologize like he fought for that friendship and of course we're not so close today but he wanted to make things right you know there are some people that will not even care about giving you closure will literally shatter your heart and just move on you hear they're in a relationship and they are living their lives but this person actually cared about the fact that fine things do not work between me and you but you are a good person i'm a good person i must see to it that i make things right with you and so that person made the effort the person kept reaching out even though at some point i had to like shut the person out because i needed to get myself together 
but later on i opened up and i was able to forgive and let it go and this person really made that effort called apologized till today i can still say that that person you know was and is a good person or it wasn't just the right person for me and that's fine now what are the lessons that i learned not exactly from that relationship because a lot of what i still went under the bridge after then trust me i am not even perfect i've made mistakes of course mistakes that have not cost me my life and but i've made like quite a number of silly mistakes that the lord has just covered for me somehow and then they are still somehow made me the kind of person that people can look up to when i see how much people look up to me even up to when god when god still chose me to lead an entire student body as the female representative of every female student it was at a very low place in my life it was at a very dark only my circle will understand this and the people that were you know my roommates then it was at a very low period of my life i didn't feel worthy i forgot to just take away all that shame take away all that unworthiness and still clothe me with his garment of honor such that people still look up to me today and i say my i love you i want to be like you <laughs> if only they knew sometimes i just tell the holy spirit, holy spirit should we tell them should we tell them but see that's the beauty of being in christ you know the first thing i learned is that if it is not god's will for you you will struggle big time if god has already made it clear to you that that relationship is not his will you might want to save yourself that emotional stress and trauma and just step back trust me it may be very hard in fact it's not me it will actually be hard to step back, especially when you've started nursing and nurturing your feelings for this person in your heart. But it will be even much harder and hurt even more if you remain there, invest into this person and now have to come out just because that person doesn't value you or the relationship doesn't work out. So I just feel like if the Lord is really leading you to not go into a relationship and you're very clear from the onset, just try. I know it i know it can be a lot try just ask god for grace shut out this person on you guys i think I, i've said enough on the first point if you're not a believer you might want to actually get to becoming a believer first then these things will make sense to you because all these holy spirits that i'm talking about it might not just make sense to you because i really don't know how unbelievers like do it i don't know how they connect i don't know how they i really just don't know so i'm talking to my fellow believers right i'm so sorry but i'm not sorry <laughs> if there's no purpose there's no direction you're not seeing your future with this person it's just it is all looking one kind like the fight is more than the blessing that comes with it or the benefits i beg i beg i beg i beg the second lesson i've learned from this relationship thing is that the more you touch the less you talk the more you touch the more irrelevant your conversations become to you actually talking like you will literally get to a point where you cannot sit together and have meaningful conversations without lusting after each other enough to get physical with each other that is to start touching and romanticizing and sexualizing each other sex is a covenant let me not start preaching it's a very deep covenant that you don't want to have with somebody you are not married to the third thing i've learned is that if you manage it now you most likely manage it for the rest of your life because if you're seeing something you cannot take a non-negotiable that is existent in that person a red flag a deal breaker and you're like mm, let's keep managing you most likely just manage for the rest of your life and trust me one of my mentors back then would say marriage is too long a time to be endured marriage is supposed to be enjoyed literally i god forbid that i will endure my marriage oh lord of jesus i prayed too much for my marriage to come and endure it i'm saying this not because i'm married or i'm going to get married anytime soon but because i'm going to come back to this video when i'm married and and listen to the prophetic words that i've spoken over my marriage my marriage will be enjoyed ah hallelujah so in terms of your vision your standards your alignment the bible says can two work together except they be agreed all those things if you're trying to manage it now you most likely manage for the rest of your life trust me you don't want to manage for the rest of your life why manage when you can live in abundance why manage while endure when you can enjoy it so i pray god will give us the wisdom in jesus name
Amen. The fourth thing I learned or I've learned so far is that you're not looking for a perfect person. You are looking for a perfect person for you. In other words, you're looking for the person who's right for you. I was listening to a video by Fela Drotto and he said that one mistake that a lot of ladies make is that they want to marry a king. But the issue with that is that a king is most likely already another woman's husband because he has been crowned by that woman to become a king. But what we should rather do is look for a prince whose head fits our crown and then crown him in marriage and make him a king. Our king, my king, your king. Do you get the gist? So, in essence, you're not looking for somebody who has no flaws, who is perfect, but you're looking for the right person for you, the right person for your destiny, the right person for your future, and more importantly, the right person for the purpose that God has given to you. Because the Bible says that as a young man marries a virgin, so will your builder marry you. That's one of the promises the Lord has given me personally for my marriage. That means that person has to build you. See, it's a terrible thing to be married to somebody that is intimidated by you. Not because I'm married once again, but I've seen, you know, hey, my eyes have seen the glory of the Lord. <laughs> Say, my eyes have seen, oh, my eyes have seen the glory of the Lord. You open my eyes to see, oh, my eyes have seen the glory of the Lord. Please follow Pastor Kingsley Okoko on every platform possible. That man knows the word. Follow Pastor Mildred, do. They are not just because they are my pastors, but follow people where no road. You can see that it is evident in their lives. So tap into it, follow them, learn from them, draw. As I am like this, I don't. I feel like nobody can come and fool me. Now. Like I have prayed so much about this matter, I've invested in myself so much in this matter that I can't just be moved by literally anything. Now, I feel like I'm gradually getting to that point. And trust me, for me, I count that as great maturity. How I am now is not how I was in that hundred level. What is rubbish mistake that I, was I didn't know all of this. <laughs> I didn't knew. I didn't knew, but I know better now, and I give glory to God. I'm growing, I'm learning, and um, I hope somebody is also learning as you're watching this video as well. The fifth and final thing is that the container is not as important as the content. And there's no one person for you. I feel like that's the thing that the devil has used to trap a lot of guys and ladies. God said you're my wife. God said you're my husband. You will not trap yourself. Okay, if the person now come and die and call, what will you not do? Or rather, God is more after the content of this person which he can replicate in the lives of other people is not really about brother wilson g -g -g. it's about what brother wilson carries that god can put in another man for your destiny so if sister isabella is not convinced about you as much as you are convinced about her move on because god saves the best for the last and whatever it is you are seeing in sister isabella he's gonna put even much more in the person that will say yes to you so you don't need to kill yourself if somebody say no. Nah, I like him. He does not like me. Man. We move. Pastor Midred say, it's me that is carrying the virtue as a woman. I'm looking for who to release virtue upon. You are not telling me it's not about you. It's about me. It can't be about me. It has to be about you because I carry virtue. You're not just the right person for me to pour that virtue upon. And it's fine. Thank you for not wasting my time. I feel like if we all have this understanding, especially as ladies, it really is a lot of stress. Yes, the heartbreak might still be there. Yes, the sadness, the hurt might still be there. But it will. I think it will help us heal faster. Even for the guys, if you know your value, your worth, that a lady turns you down, it's not the end of the world. But at the same time, don't forget that God gives his best to his best. Mm. I know I'm breaking the table. God gives his best to his best. So, if you are praying for something, you say, be walking towards it too. And life has to be balanced. Because marriage is so that two can chase 10,000. I cannot be chasing 1,000 as a single person and then can be chasing 500 as a married person. No. If I'm chasing 1,000 as a single person, then I will chase 1 million as a married person. Because two heads are supposed to be better than one. All right, guys, I believe that I've shared what the Lord has placed in my heart to share in this video and so that I don't say more than what he has ordained for me to say. I hope you enjoyed watching. We have actually come to the end of this video. <laughs> if you found it helpful, if you learned a thing or two, let me know in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos like this, which I know you, you will live like I'm a boy, you want to see it. Just let me know in the comment section. I'll put it into consideration. And even if I don't come on here to talk about it myself, 
I want to bring people. I like this is the year I want to collaborate with a lot of creators. It's in my plan for this year. But my nine to five. Anyway, I'm not I'm not giving excuses. I will do my best. By the way, guys, if you know any Lagos YouTuber or not necessarily in Lagos, but any Nigerian YouTuber, they might be in other parts of the country, but they are of my age and maybe we are in like similar niches. They also do like the faith content because for me our belief system is very important before i bring anybody here we have to like be very like-minded if you if you have other youtubers or other content creators on instagram or tiktok that you follow that you feel like i can collaborate with just let me know in the comment section i'll reach out to them that one know they had me i'll reach out to them establish a good relationship with them and try to get them on the channel i don't mind going miles away to meet them or going or doing a live session with them but yeah i'm very very much looking forward to that you have like um, like-minded creators if you've been following me here you know the kind of content i create so if you know other youtubers that are like-minded with me we share the same faith they are christians <laughs> emphasis on that they love the lord they believe in god we can find a common ground to establish good content for you guys let me know in the comment section and trust me i'll be here to provide you guys with all of that okay so thank you guys for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful leave a comment below let me know what you're taking away from this video something i said that is sticking us that has struck with you and is still striking you right now let me know in the comments share this video with a friend though mm -hmm. and uh, leave a comment below. do all that good stuff let's get monetized guys let's get monetized in the name of the lord jesus amen <laughs> i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video mm -hmm. cheers to becoming the best version of yourself bye Fantasy, something conscious, something sweet about you.